Okay, I'm feeling a lot better now. I just went out for a full supply trip to get resources because I was sitting here earlier with a 40% repaired car and I couldn't repair it to the fullest because I had like two chemicals to make repair putties with and I didn't even have enough scrap metal to make new panels. So that was pretty bad. I ended up driving it out while it was at 40% health to a nearby zone just so we could get some supplies and I think it turned out pretty well. We went to a pretty safe place. It was uh, E7, I believe. So I wasn't even going to the mid zone or whatever, but safe place, some nice stable energy that we got. And I think overall we came back with quite a few supplies and I feel a lot better now because my locker is completely full. My locker over here is also full, even though there's some big items here. And even my trunk is holding some of the stuff. So maybe now it's time for me to sort out everything again. We got some stable energy too, so that's nice. We can actually see the records. It does a nice little log of every single trip you took. So the last one, the resource one that I just did was this one here. And apparently I triggered the quirk 43 times. I think I got the one with the right door again. I don't know why I keep getting that one, but it, it's, it's back. And I got 2.7 stable energy, which is not so bad. Some of the... The amount of times a quirk was triggered, 200. I don't know what's happening. The most obvious one to me is the the door opening one, which let me see if I can reproduce it right now. I'm actually not sure. Does the car have to be on? It definitely was doing the whole door opening thing again earlier, but maybe it's linked to something else this time. Okay, whatever, fine. Why don't we begin with... Oh, I did find some new items on that trip. I found a frequency file, number one, part two. I think this is an audio one, martyr, myth, or monster. I found a blowtorch, which is a repair item. It's already kind of half dead, but better to have it than not. And I also have this repair dumpster right here. It's bigger than the ones that we usually see. 6,000 health. Let's crack it open. I probably need to make a new locker too, just because of how many- oh my god. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Why won't you give me chemicals though? I don't know why. Chemicals are so rare, all the time. Matcha paint, decal kits. Oh, <gasps> shark teeth! Let's check it out. One second, we just gotta put it all in here and I'll do this one at a time. Can you stop beeping now, please? Newsflash, Seattle, August 17, 1969. Air quality continues to suffer today as a result of ongoing forest fires raging through the Olympic Peninsula. Despite growing concerns from state officials, Arda had refused to grant firefighters access to the... the... to the... to... some audio looping towards the end. 1969. These are old things too. Why? Yeah, look at the top. It says it's 1980-something right now. So audio clips from... Decades ago are playing to us, which is weird. This clip here? Can we... How do we play it? How do I just play it? How do... I think... Oh, actually. Maybe... I think we just put it in here. As a thing. But if we want to play it. Here we go. coverage of limb technology is bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at first. In the decade between 1955 to 1965, limb is called many things. The promise of the future, the herald of a new age, the never spoken of again. You don't have to dig very deep for the gaps in the story to emerge. The presidential demonstration is the only physical proof we ever see of it. Compared to the Manhattan Project, developed under airtight shroud of secrecy, why was Lim paraded around in the papers? And if it really was the technological quantum leap to answer all our wildest dreams, why did it blink out of existence? The story of Lim technology is one hell of a maze, and the key to it is a woman named Dr. Ophelia Turner. Did Ophelia Turner, by all measure a failed physicist as far as her public record goes, truly invent Lim technology? Or was she held up as a Rosie the Riveter for the Cold War? An atomic Annie to excite the masses during the no-holds-barred race against the Soviet Union? Was she a myth, martyr, or monster? 
a figment of the imagination, true savior, or a convenient scapegoat. I'm Chiaki Saruhashi, and in this nine-part series, I aim to find out. Oh, nine parts. We have part two now. These, I guess, are more story relevant. The place where I picked it up was marked with a special color on the map. So, yeah. Just like the, um, the previous triangle things that we missed before. Okay, I'll, I'll try to be on a lookout for those if we can. Let's check out... The stable energy. It looks like I can add some new racks already. Oh, auto parker? Jump jacks, these are new. What's going on? Oh my god. Headlights. The hand vac? I honestly don't care about it. It's just, I can pick it up on my own. It's not a big problem. But, unlocking it means that I can unlock the next things. I think that might be important. Scrap your- Oh, plasma scrapper. Scrap like you've never scrapped before. Hmm. Oh, expanded locker might be needed now. Let, let's just get this quickly. If you want more supplies, you gotta just... Uh, I'll put it out here, because this is the one that I reach, I reach for most often. Is it gonna connect with the previous one? No. Oh, this kind of locker. So wait, I'm gonna... Hmm. Maybe I should categorize these somehow. Who am I kidding? That's way too much work. Just throw it all in here. For the blowtorch, I'm just gonna put it back in here. I still haven't even tried the radar yet. I think that's good for now. And then what else can we do? We can keep expanding our locker even more. No, I think we're okay for now. Parts locker. Matter regenerator. Repair components when we're out on a drive. I think that'll be good. It'll save us some stuff in the long run too. Upgrade the dang garage. Oh, here. Next to the degenerator. We'll have to be a little bit careful. By the way, did I acknowledge it yet? Okay, when I first made the backpack upgrade, I hadn't realized that we got new quick slots. Yeah, we have six now. Isn't that great? That's awesome. And I don't know why it took a new backpack to get that, because it's like... I have the same amount of fingers as before, I think. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the, the constraints here. We have fabric now. That's good. Fabric is easy to get if you're just farming for it. Personal airbag. <gasps> this needs chemicals, though. I don't know about that. Okay, we might not need this for now, I think. Yeah, chemicals I'm very protective of. It's just... very rare, you know? I'm gonna put the steel door... inside. This is the one with the camo paint, I think. Matter regenerator? Recording. Yeah, what a coincidence, so am I. Ingenious limb technology and advanced spectromechanical acoustics are used to repair car components stored in the station while you're out on a drive. Yeah, earlier when I was out, I ran into a different type of station too. You know how we had that battery charging station before? I ran into a repair one. Repair stop. Francis Cook, journal entry. This spring has been an absolute whirlwind of work, and I don't think we've ever been in more in sync with the engineering teams. Our progress has been terrific, and this week we had our first visit from Dr. Ophelia Turner, who wanted to see some of our new designs for herself. Oh, they knew each other for a long time. And it was just as we perfected waveform stability for the projected regenerative electromagnetic fields. The result was a lot of hairs raising on the backs of necks, along with more than a few strengthened steel panels. We partially reconstituted several alloys at distances of up to six feet, which was even more than we had projected. The timing couldn't have been better. Dr. Turner is without a doubt a brilliant scientist, and it felt so satisfying to be able to impress her in person with our applications of her own technology. I really hope our teams can work together on this more, because her insights into how we could achieve better projection and more stable waveforms already have me working on a redesign. Francis looked up to Oppie. You know, she's, she's actually quite old already. And I guess they were working together the whole time. It didn't really fully repair my stuff though, but I think stepping inside the zone probably maybe repaired my stuff a little bit. So good to keep an eye out on in the future. Let me just read the rest of these two. Hazmat cabinet. 
I know it's inconvenient to lock everything away, and I know it requires issuing all of our staff not just keys, but the right sets of keys, and then collecting and reissuing those keys as staff are rotated and reassigned, but... Please also consider the sheer volume of materials and resources that have gone missing these the past few months. We've had rare substances and corrosive chemicals spirited away, compounds and catalysts vanish into thin air, even a whole cabinet whisked out of an office and dragged away by one of those, you know. And since these materials are so expensive, so vital, and sometimes, you know, state secrets, I'd rather not start locking more things up. Got that? I, these, these codexes are actually, they're written in a very... I think it's engaging. It is, but you have to read between the lines because it's not going to be like a hazmat cabinet, and so on and so forth. So you do have to pay a little bit of attention. The detailing station is for cosmetics, outfitting station is for me, expanded locker. One of humanity's finest and greatest creations. I agree. Absolutely do agree. Okay, I'm pretty sure we had a few more. Yes, yeah, so we still have two energy here. Improved antenna? We need 1.5 for this. That means the antenna can be activated multiple times before overheating. I don't know what that means. What does it mean? Investigator module. This upgrade for the Tinker Station will report back to you which elements of a diagnosis are correct. Oh, that would be good for the quirk. Also adds the ability to spend anchor energy to scan the car for anomalies. Oh, no, thank you. I, I don't want to scan. I, I, I don't have... <gasps> Advanced workbench. Oh. One thing that I discovered while outside is that I think... Every time we come across a gas station, there probably is a dumpster outside, and some of them have workbenches inside as well. You know how last time we couldn't make steel panels from the workbench inside our car? Maybe the one at the gas station would be good for that. If we're really broken down, looking for a gas station might be a good help. Uh, I don't have unstable energy today, so that's not going to be a thing for now. I... We should probably get a proper headlight soon, maybe. Okay, all right. We had some earlier, like that one time, and then I just, I never bought the formula. Lead plated door. I'm pretty sure we can't make it right now because it needs lead platelets and we don't have enough of that resource. So I could get it, but it's gonna be useless. On the other hand, side racks. Even more side racks. I think this will always be good. H hands only, yeah. Just more side racks, keep adding more stuff here. Can we get the limb pulse emitter as well then? Oh no, I'm at no energy. That's a shame then. Can I make more storage on the side? I got some thermosap crystals now, but this one, I'm okay for now. Light replacement kit. Electrician's kit. These are nice, these are nice. New headlights. We could, we got some bulbs. A little bit wasteful to make it immediately, but... You gotta splurge a little bit sometimes, right? These are fully healed up too. I'll just store them away somewhere, maybe. There you go. Crude panel. Oh, we can afford to make a steel panel for that. When are you going to be done? Oh, we can do four things at the same time. Okay, hold up. In that case. Okay, just put these here. Yeah, like some of these do. I do want to keep. This wheel is a little bit... It's a little bit eroded. I'll take it anyway. I'll like, put it in my hand. You know? Is it raining again? Seriously? Yeah, perfect, perfect. I can even fit a few more panels. I just don't have that many... Mmm, I should have bought this. It doesn't work while we're here, though. We have to go out and leave for it to heal up. So we'll just put whatever supplies... Oh, this one. This one. Put that steel door right here. Yeah. Awesome. We're getting somewhere. 
Mm -hmm. And we can use this space as a storage space too, if I want to. <laughs> Why not, right? How come the crew- wait. Oh, the picture changed. I was like, why is the, the picture like that? <laughs> Might as well put the wheel in there as well. Sure. Mm, I want to... We have steel doors, but no steel... Oh, we do have a steel panel here. I'm just thinking about this crude panel. Because the next trip is going to be to the mid zone. So I do feel like this time we should get the best resources we can. Insulated panels, insulated doors, plasma. Oh, I don't want to... Oh, do I want to use that right away? See, lead panels, I can't. I can't make it. Steel bumpers. I got two steel bumpers. I got two insulated doors. I got three insulated doors. The health is better. Okay, let's let's make one more. Here. You just no, no room for you. What about side storage? Side storage. Yeah, oh, I did buy the Limpulse emitter already, but I don't have copper wire because I used it on something else. That's okay. Side storages will be... it's still gonna be good. Hold up, hold up. Are we gonna do two? Three. Okay, now we have a lot of space. I think we should put some other stuff on the racks, but we can take it off. We can just take it off and put something new on it once we get it. Not a big problem. It's like we're actually getting somewhere now. Well, maybe next time. Because this... We, we installed the racks now, but we're, we're, we haven't brought anything back yet. It'll be good next time. My whole car is insulated or steel. I think this is as good as it gets. Because we're going to the mid zone, we are gonna make our car fierce. Let's have some shark teeth around here. Right on the the chassis. What? What the hell is that? How is that shark like? Did I pick the wrong one? No? Shark teeth? What shark teeth? <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Alright, I see. Oh, and it extends. Oh, I just overrode the camel, but you know what? This is very scrappy. I like it, though. Yeah! Now we really can't lose these panels, right? Something like that. <laughs> this is such a random mishmash of stuff. Hmm. Anything else? I don't really know. Maybe some space-looking stuff on the back would be cool, too. Whatever, I'm just doing whatever the heck. On the bumper. Can we do it on the bumper? No. <laughs> no. Anything that's not... Oh, there's nothing on this. Yeah! Wow, that's... This is so pretty. <laughs> feel like I'm having trouble convincing myself, too, but you know what? Tastes are a matter of preference. You can't say something is not pretty just because you don't think it's pretty. I like the graffiti text though. Gateway gauntlet. Yeah. Are oh, we gonna get there? We're gonna get to the mid zone today. Yeah? Let's go then. I packed some crude panels here, some tires here, just in case, because it's a big trip today. Although I'm hoping we can make some of the stuff on the on the way as well. And we are just gonna head straight for there. Ooh. Oh, it changed. This is back to this zone being unstable again. Expansion wall. Good thing about this one is that this is perpetually stable. This place is still eerily dark. Battery sapping. That's not good. Battery sapping. Anchor party. Overcharged electricity. Swift storm. Anchor party. Does that mean there's a lot of anchors? Oh, of course it would be in the unstable region, right? 
overcharge electricity. No, I think we should... We should try to leave. We... This is our goal, okay? It's not... Trying to... There's a whole bunch of stuff trying to distract us. But we have a clear goal. This area, there's some anomalies and stuff that we haven't recognized before. But overall, I think it's gonna be mostly stuff that we have seen. Hmm. Well... Let's go, I suppose. No time like today, right? Time to make it to the wall. Wish me luck, Oppy. Do I have enough medical supplies? Maybe I'll make a few more medkits just in case. You never know. The supplies to make it are fairly lenient, though. That's a good thing. Oh, you split into that kind of stack. Okay, that's that's fine. Two battery jumpers. I don't have any mechanics kits. Oh, you know what? These are all resources that we have a lot of. Take it all away. Oh, and I can see that this means that my, my trunk is already kind of full. Plus the crude panels on the side here. That's okay. Hoping for the day to be nice and uneventful. Ghost on the road, a shell in the pit. <laughs> Don't need you to remind me that there is ghosts around here. We can go straight to this place now. I see. We don't have to go here. Interesting. Is that just because maybe we've been to it too many times? Just like how this one. We can go straight there. You know what? Let's do it. Next song. We've heard this one already a few times. What the heck? What the heck is wrong with this? But what kind of a map is this? Okay? There's no anchors? Nothing? I guess I should have missed my chance to collect resources then, in that case. This is supposed to be an unstable region though. It just looks okay right now. Take that. Simple houses. Have did this many people live in here before? Or... I just don't know. We keep coming across these places that still have some resources. Hey, if the... The deeper we get into the zone, the more dangerous it gets. I assume this means that whatever... Why all this is happening originated from within the zone. Like, the, the place where it's most active is where it started. I feel like having Oppie's knowledge here about that might be good. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, lead plating! <laughs> Platelets. Oh no, there's no... Here we go, here we go. We're starting to really need these ones now. The platelets. Wrecked cars, whatever. We have a million duct tape, but stuff like fabric, chemicals, never have too much of them. I'm gonna suck that one. Yeah, and then I can just take these ones. Too bad there's not that many lead shields around here. Copper wires. That's definitely necessary. 
Oh no! Okay, good. <laughs> this isn't receiving anything. This is just stuff here. Long abandoned. All of my stuff has pretty low durability. Should be on the watch out. We good? I think we're good. Oh, this is a shield too, even though it's barely a shield. Yeah, that didn't even give us any lead stuff. That sucks. Oh well. Pretty good, pretty good. Better than nothing. It's a tunnel! A tunnel ahead of us. Where nothing bad will happen. Oh, the headlights are a lot more brighter. The non-crude kind. Yeah. That's more like it. I'm okay. Or maybe this is like an in-between map. Like there's nothing here. This is just random in-between. Is it the... what we get for taking a shortcut? Wait, was that...? Could we go in there, do you think? No. Okay. The price for the better headlights is that the battery drains faster, though. That's gotta be it. Oh, this we gotta have. This is one of those Arda trucks. SNF Howling. That looks like the guy from Fallout. Box truck. Oh yeah. Oh, supplies, food. Egan's mix. Kits. I wonder why it doesn't take the paints automatically. It really should. Sweet. Should probably make a new scrapper soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll put the paints in this one. Excuse me? What was that sound? Don't do that. Here we go. Mechanics kit. Fantastic. And I'll make a new scrapper while we're at it. Every other device, pry bars. If you have a scrapper, you can sort of not have a pry bar. Scrapper works for a lot of different situations. This is it. Okay. I thought there was a trick to why this map was like this, but I think it's just a shortcut, maybe. Hopefully. It doesn't even feel like there are anomalies here. Barely. Not the kind that really bug you. Huh. Good for me. Alright, I guess that's it. Now where are we? Extreme- Yeah, this is the actual one. Okay, we're trying to get through this place. I'll try to go this side then, if we can. But for now, just maybe follow the road, mostly. I know there's lots of houses and stuff. Hello. This is Zap, and it's time for a special version of Zap's Douglas Spurrier Knowledge Tree Facts. This specific segment is here purely to address a series of 
important correspondences I've had with a certain Dr. Cocker, and I use the term doctor with the greatest of air quotes. Dr. Cocker, to you and all who have somehow been unfortunate enough to hear your lectures on biology, I must set the record straight. What is and is There's not a lot of stuff plant. here. It is strictly determined by scientific process, photosynthesis, reproductive systems, and the categorization of cellular makeup. It is not determined by whether or not the thing has eyeballs. What a truly preposterous suggestion. Just because a bird has eyes does not make it not a bird. What of worms? What of jellyfish? Or even the Mississippi River? Your infantile claims are doing nothing more than to further sink the credibility of this peninsula into absurdity and myth, and I will have nothing of it. Good day. And to everyone else, stay safe, keep your eyes on the trail, and leave the boy and we found it. Alright, I think we have a lot of trailers here. Might be good to stop for a quick moment, get a few supplies, although keeping in mind that this place yeah, now we're here, I think. High instability. Anchor party, whatever that means. Let's try to grab whatever we can in GTFO. Oh, this one needs electrician's kit. Can I make one? I have the skill. I don't know if I have the supplies. I do! Yeah, let's go. Those guys are... Okay, if I'm using an electrician's kit here, you better give me something good. That's all I'm saying. Yeah! Equivalent exchange. You've got to make sure my time is worth it. I feel like the electrician kits, those trailers, do tend to have a little bit more stuff, maybe. Or maybe I just wanted to have more stuff. <laughs> okay, one chemical. I'm taking it. Limtech. To infinity and beyond. I can't run and turn off and off the flashlight at the same time. I have to slow down to do it. It's kind of weird. There's an abductor. That's okay. We're here on friendly terms. I just want to grab some of the stuff in the trailers here. Because you saw on the map, there were so many things. Is that a storm I hear, though? Don't lose sight of the, the main objective today. We are going to mid-zone. And we're gonna make it there. Weather seems okay. They tricked us. Arda lied. Oh, that's a storm warning. Okay, I'm wondering if I should just beeline into that to get that chemical, or... Oh, it's gone. This is probably our cue to get out. We're very low on health, too. What was that? Was that something outside of the cabin? Getting us? There's something over there, I guess. We gotta go. I think we got some chemicals. That wasn't an entirely bad trip. How are we looking? Okay, we could go here. And then try to like drop down. It's not recommended, but we could do that. Just keep in mind that right now we haven't collected any stability anchors yet. Stable energy, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the official name is supposed to be. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try doing that. Hopefully we'll be able to make that little... drop. I know there's a lot of... supplies here. But that storm is gaining in! Fast! If I see something really special, I'll stop. But, yeah. Oh, that's a friendly dumpster, isn't it? 
That's kind of special. Normally, this kind of place would be great for exploration, though. Lots of chemicals. Oh, this is just a regular dumpster. <laughs> okay. I see the chemicals already, so I gotta have it. Oh, my... My health is not good. And Flair... Flair is dead. Flair is deader than dead. These cabinets are always locked. Do we not have any healing items? We do. Let's go. If we can see the storm, that's already a problem. And we've waited too long. And yeah, there's some radiation here. Uh, it's coming. That storm is coming. At this point, we might have better luck waiting it out, to be honest. Hold up. Let's look at it here. Right, because I think it's gonna go straight up here, right? So if we wait it out... ...and then go along our way, wouldn't that be better? Huh, in that case, maybe I'll look around here a little bit more. Okay, I think we'll be okay in this location. Let's wait it out. I know this is super irradiated, but we gotta... Ooh! Okay, for regular stuff, not worth it. One fabric? No. No. But for this. Yes. Alright, let's go. Oh no. I'm never gonna leave. This is so irradiated. I can't believe I came in here for that long. Yeah, I got another one. Good, good. This is like a, a landmine. Not a landmine. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. That's great. Wait, what? Oh, this is just locked. How do we open that? I don't know. All the plasma stuff's already gone. I'm using medkits like crazy. I don't think that's a good thing. Oh, lead plating! This we gotta have. Oh, the right at the lead shielding, the radiation disappears a little bit. It depends on where we stand. Good. I think we sort of get what we can see here. That's part of the... the gusts. Maybe let's get back to the car. If I can! You're right at the edge here, it's okay. Does that storm... does the storm cancel out the radiation? How are we doing? Oh, it left already! It left! Fantastic! Alright. Let's... Go. Oh, but we need some more medical supplies. Within the car, good. Okay, now let's just let's just keep driving down then. Oh, you know I can't let the lead plating go, because that's really it's kind of rare right now. I gotta have this. Is it? Okay, let's go.
The wind- oh, the winds are coming in. This is a different kind of thing. It's not the big storm. I think this is the kind- I don't think we've waited long enough to really see it out, but right now it's yellow. Oh, shh. Why does that purple thing keep appearing behind us like that? I can't be bothered to go back for it. They put it at the most inconvenient places on purpose, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Because I don't want to be in the, the traction of that yellow thing. Sooner or later, it'll be red, right? That's my understanding. And right now, we still haven't gone a single stability thing. It's not good. Okay, ready? Ready? Slowly, slowly. All right. Plan worked. Now. Now we focus on getting energy. Even though we're not trying to collect energy here because we- Oh yeah, that's right. We're trying to move on to the next zone so we don't have to collect energy. But we have a little bit of time, maybe. Actually, you know what? We don't have to, that's right. In that case, I might go here. Because I can see this is a downhill slope. I'm going to just slope down and try to get it while we're going to the exit. That might work out a little bit better. Oh, this is not smart. Ugh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh! All right. Ooh! Okay. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. Wait, activate emergency teleporter. I can teleport this? Hold up, hold up. So I can like change the car's location, right? How about here? Wait, where is the car even? Okay. Okay, I see. Whoa! What the hell? Oh no, some weird physics stuff just happened and it- my car- What the hell just happened? I think there was a physics bug just now. You saw that, right? Like it just- Flung my car to god knows where. Oh, I mean, it's standing straight up though, so that's... That's one good thing. <laughs> I don't think that was meant to happen. Oh yeah, we, we gotta go. We gotta go. Our car is a little bit damaged. <sighs> can we get the stability thing before we go? Yes, we can. I'm going to turn my car around. Like this? Let's go! It's right here. I know the winds are creeping in, but we should be fine. Go. Whenever we get a safe spot, I do want to repair my stuff a little bit. Minutemen, please. Please, I don't have time for this. Oh, a squire. Oh no, my car's here. Oh, the winds are coming. The winds are coming. Thanks, but no thanks. Discharge my whole car. My whole car's discharged. Oh, I don't have time for the lug panelings. I'm sorry. I think we gotta go. I don't know if we have time for even more. <laughs> Maybe? How close is it? 
Oh, it's right here. It's right here. We can get it. Like, really, really quickly. Go, 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 go. Get this. Grab it all. Boom, boom. Let's go. Maybe take a med kit while I'm here. Okay, I think we really have to go now. We really, really must get going. I think we've been braver this time than before, though, because we're slowly learning what we can manage, what we can't manage. Uh, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm gonna cut across here, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm not really happy about what happened with my driving there, but it kind of worked out, so... I guess that's alright. I still don't think that was meant to happen, the whole thing with the, my car being sent five miles away. Here we go, the roads. We're in the clear. We're good. Be careful of that. Okay, I think we can probably spend a second to rest up here then. Still have a little bit of time before everything comes crashing down. I'll grab this while I'm at it. Okay, that went pretty well, I think. But this is still like outer zone. It's just because we've been here long enough to understand how this place works now. But the next place isn't one that we've been to before at all. Oh, how's my gas okay, by the way? This car is not doing great. How are you doing? Time to take out the putty. Yeah, it's not looking good. My shark teeth decal, we gotta save it. I think the insulated doors did come in handy earlier though, so that's good. How's everything looking? Oh dear. Yeah, we still got time. We got time. We don't even know what's gonna happen in the next region. More the reason to make sure everything's topped up, right? Good. The storages are okay. Thank you! Okay, I think we're all right for now. How's the HUD looking? Oh, the lights, the lights aren't doing great. It's coming, it's coming. Just gonna check the battery. It's alright. Gas? I think it's done. Oh, that little can doesn't even hold half um half the capacity of the car gas. Okay, we happy? Let's go. I think we can actually stay in that area. It's just that it's really irradiated. Once we go back and we get some maybe radiation suits and whatnot, then maybe we can stay for longer. Got a few stability cores too, so I'm pretty happy overall. Now the next zone is the, the real thing here. No, no, that was just this. We haven't even been to the dark place yet. Oh, what the hell is that stuff? 
Oh, those were the, the stable, the things we made stable last time. I don't think we need to stay. I'm just gonna make this a smooth drive. Stabilizers. Sometimes you'll luck upon a stabilizer while you're out on a drive. When you find one, you can activate it to open a gateway without needing to charge your ARC device. Remember that gateways are accompanied by storm activity, so don't throw the switch unless you're prepared to run for your life. Oh... Does that mean that we won't have storms here then? Yeah, this is the one place where we had all the stabilizer stuff going on. It's not the same map though, so maybe we just happened upon another location with stabilizers. I do think the dark regions tend to be more peaceful. A good tendency for us. Oh, rechargeable flares. It's okay, I'm used to that noise by now. It's the bollard. <laughs> Eerily quiet here, though. Let's grab the stuff and go. Oh, I thought that was an anomaly for a second. That's my own car. So one thing that I have to remember is I gotta turn off this flip. I gotta turn off this flashlight. Otherwise, even when I'm holding the anchor, it still counts. It'll still drain it. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Okay, that's good. Let's turn around. Can we switch to another? I don't know why I'm still surviving, still dodging the end. Maybe it's hope. Maybe it's the thought of you. If I could just see you smile, we could at least recognize the beauty of this place together. I've been completely in awe since, well, since I've been here. And for so long now, I've just wanted someone to share it with. I guess I just wanted to tell you, if you have someone there with you, be present with them. Don't let anything distract. I guess I've realized now yeah, it's gone that that's the moon. You can feel alone like I am. I love me. I'm thinking about you. I think a lot of people, you know, when they get used to a normal, they do start overlooking what they have. They just take everything they have for granted. So maybe that is a- it's a good lesson to remember. Okay, there's some mist right here. I think we'll be fine. Oh, can I grab the stabilizers while I'm here? I'm here for the lead plating. I'll mark it. We're going to be needing a lot of this. I think we'll have enough to make a, like a lead suit or something. After we go back. Oh. We haven't even used the other backup panels too. And I hope we'll never have to. Good, good. This is 12 health. Just trying to keep track of how my health is doing and all that. Bulbs? Now can I just run over there? Is that too far? I'll probably drive over there. Don't walk in the spiky thing. 
I'm pretty sure there was a spiky thing around here just now. After this, we can go straight to the exit, pretty much. We still haven't come across the other types of energy at all. That's a good thing, because it means we're in a stable area. <laughs> Not a good thing for if we want to do some more other upgrades, of course. You mind? Just... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I think I touched that airstrip thing, probably a little bit. Um... Jemind is leaving, kind of blocking the way right now. I'll go around. I think we're following the pipe a little bit too closely. We should be following the road, not the pipe. Here we go. All right, another successful day. Now we're going to head to the mid zone. Are you ready? I hope so. My car is looking all right. Nothing's wrong with it. Might as well do a quick check. This area is supposed to drain my batteries. Oh, yeah. Let's jump it up. And we are ready to get going. Simple area. Thank you. Thank you for being simple and good. All right. Perpetual stability here. Feels like this one shouldn't be too bad. But we're... This one? We'll have to go to the gateway. So that's something to be aware of. This looks simple. Oh, wait, we do have to go and leave. What? There's a gateway here. We can leave via the gateway. What's our goal? Get through the expansion wall. Let's just drive here and see what's happening first. Oppie? Got any wise words for me that you want to share? Hoping to hear some other songs. There's only a few songs that are available. <laughs> I think it's because of the streamer mode. That's probably why. I do want to hear some random podcast stuff though. Hello. Giant Ballard. What's going on at the wall? There was like some... There was a few cores there as well. Oh, touching a plasma tower in the rain? Let's do it. Oh, that's not a... That's it. This is the impact hammer. Go! Go! Fantastic. Plasma is one of the few supplies, or uh, one of the supplies that we're not high on. Because it's, yeah, we have to break these things to get it. That just doesn't happen that often. Do we have to link gateways to get out of here? I don't know. Because it looks like there is another way out. We're trying to get beyond the crossing. Whoa. That's new. Beating heart. 
It's been at least two months now, and I'm the last member of our team left out here totally lost. I have no idea what day it is, where I am, where I should be headed, even which way might be north. The roads themselves seem to be changing, and those barriers that the government installed open and close with a mind of their own. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get out. I've only been able to keep going thanks to magical piles of semi-organic junk that somehow knit the van back together after whatever thing smashed it apart last time around. I can get hit by electricity or dragged into a tree ten times over, but these things patch everything up better than any mechanic I ever knew. And then I just drive on into the forest once more, trying the next junction. That's the story of the last living member of the Bug Watch team, stuck out here forever, because we came to record a dumb show about insects. These are not Arda people. Hold up. This is good then. How, how do I participate in your goodness? Can I just drive near you? Oh, damn it. Keep accidentally just turning off the ignition. My car is looking pretty good right now already, but I wouldn't mind 100% healing. You know? Oh! Oh, look at the parts! They're lighting up! Oh, <gasps> thank you! Thank you, you're so good! The back wheel too, please. If you don't mind. Do I have to aim it near you so you can do your magic? Can you do it? Will you do it? Wow, it really healed up everything. To full. The back wheel. Mr. The back wheel, please. Oh no, I think it just does a one-time thing, that's it. <laughs> Got a little bit greedy, but thank you! Now that I know... Oh, hey, not everything is bad! This is one of the nicest anomalies we've seen. Which... Going back to the whole debate about how... Is this zone actually trying to kill us? Well, when you see stuff like that, then maybe not, right? Maybe things in nature... It's just happening in a, in a certain way, but they're not trying to kill us on purpose. But it also just happens to be very dangerous because the zone... The zone itself by nature is very dangerous. It's all irradiated, and only strange things come out of radiation. Or something like that, right? Okie dokie. Okay, we're, we're at the right place. Now what? That's like water, dude, hold on. Would you mind if I just... Maybe I'll investigate a little bit on foot? This is the wall. This is the wall in question. Oh, I don't think I... Probably should have just driven the car here. How does my car perform in the water, though? That part I am a little bit worried about. We cool here? There's three little holes. Are, am I trying to walk through the holes or... I'll, I'll grab this one first. Got some friends. Thanks. Don't break the anchor, please, though. Ready? So it looks like they want me to walk into number two with the car? Can I get him with the car? I have to get him with the car. I am not gonna leave my car, right? Oh, there's land here. Oh, the land. Oh! Oh! <gasps> what the hell? I was holding onto the door when it came up. I guess that's why the whole door just came off like that. Okay, find a way into the wall. 
Like this? This simple? Really? It's a little bit watery. And then we just go past. I guess. We're through. We're through the pipes. Ish. Now what? I'm trying to see, but we don't have lights over there, so it's hard to see much of anything. Because there's a building here. There's apparently a building here, but it might be above us. In which case, I'm happy to just completely ignore it. What happens after we get through? Whoa, 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 this... Okay. Well, we're through, right? Home stretch? This simple? Wait, I'm sort of stuck here. Here we go. Oh, this we gotta set off. This is just the unspoken promise between us now. There's too much going on here. I want the thermosap crystals. You can give me those if you want. Oh, oh! The problem is everything starts flying all over the place. Sometimes it's just plastic. I'll still take it. What do you got here? It's so echoey here. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Hold up. Was that plasma right there? Because I definitely want some plasma. Oh, it's like beyond the ocean. Never mind. Forget it then. This... I think we're inside some sort of a factory right now. That's the white section on the map. And then we somehow merge with the outside. Oh my god, that's way too many dudes. Not stopping for all of you. It's it's really hard. There, I feel like there are a few things tugging at me constantly right now. The wish to just drive on ahead to our objective versus having to stop every three seconds to do some collections. Because it does happen really often. If I were to collect everything around here, it would just be constantly stopping all the time. And like to be frank, it does get kind of old. Especially because the whole the whole thing about how if you want to travel to a new place, you can only do one zone increments every time. Which I'm I'm enjoying the loop so far. It's it's like an addictive survival crafting driving thing. But I do think repetition is a bit of an issue. I have okay. I got the pack rat achievement just now, because I pick up too much stuff. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Caution! Wait, what is that? There's a red thingy there. Don't touch him, don't touch him. Yeah, let's just keep going. We have a goal today, after all. Even though this place is supposed to be perpetually stable. Okay, we're back on the main road. Now what? All we do is survive? Uh, 
How do we get to that... Land? Wait... I'm a little bit confused on what's happening with the map. Can I get through? Like, can I get through here? How's that gonna happen? Or do I have to go through back there somehow? I'll just keep driving and hope I end up at the right spot, I guess. Oh! Oh, I see! We're doing a loop and then we're probably gonna end up right on the road. If we just keep following it. Right, 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 we're good, we're good. What do you mean, major interference? I'm already at the exit. Don't scare me. We're good. Home stretch. Yeah. We're good. Now what? Now, unknowns. Big unknowns. Stabilizer. This might be a good one. That's good. Oh! This place has unstable energy. Do you see? to our side of the wall. Oh, what's this? Your connection to Wabi is jammed? Ah, uh, worry not. Our signal is crystal clear. <laughs> Pretty obvious, don't you think? Right, ask me if I care. Oh, we did it on yeah, purpose. the mid-zone's been marinating in all this radiation for so long. Things don't work the same as they do in the outer zone. But the good news is, we live here. We can help you, no sweat. <clears throat> first things first, we've got to extend the signal from the garage, otherwise Oppie's equipment won't be much help. Hooking you into a mid-zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around, you should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. The green one? I got you. Whoa, mid-zone already looks different. Whoa, what? What is all like that? Time to do some scanning. Ah, time to do some scanning. Goes straight to the stuff we can collect because it's hard-coded into me to just get the stuff. What? Nothing. Ooh. Salamander Grotto. Hand vac. Ooh, ooh! It's gotta be some supplies. Marsh eggs! Hold on. Oh, there was some stuff for the upgrades that needed marsh eggs. Okay, that's good. You know, it's almost like frog spawn. The thing is, I don't see any signs of it growing or changing. I've now discovered a dozen such collections of these egg-like things, and sure, they must be organic, but I have little more to go on than that. Do they function like eggs and provide some form of incubation and safety? How are they sustained? And if all or even some of that is the case, what is growing in here? Growing or waiting? They're curiously warm, in a fashion quite unlike anything else I've come across. It's almost calming. I see nothing tending to these, nor any evidence of what might have first deposited them. The only connection I can find is that those gigantic glowing orbs are usually nearby, and what little wildlife I can still recognize around here steers well clear. It steers well clear. And we just backed it up. <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing. Wrecked cars? So many wrecked cars here. And what is that? What is this? Oh, th that's a bunny, isn't it? No, no, that's just the marsh eggs. Finally, we have an actual use for the hand vac. Something we can't do without having the hand vac. If the only reason we had it was for convenience, for picking up stuff, I don't think I would have really cared about it that much. Did I even get the formula for it yet? Back at the fabrication station? I might not have. Orb. That looks like some egg stuff to me. Much like the marsh eggs. 
I'd estimate it's been some 10 to 12 months now, maybe more. I'd hope the passage of seasons would serve as at least some broad frame of reference, but that doesn't seem to happen here anymore. The climate is largely constant, while the weather is subject to these sudden swings that are impossible to predict. Storms appear out of nowhere, rain is sometimes spontaneous, the skies clear quite suddenly, though never enough that I can get a good look at the stars. However, my compass still seems to be working, at least most of the time. The moon, however? That's something else. I can usually still make it out, but something is different. Something's changing. I can't tell if it's some local atmospheric change here or... But to suggest anything beyond that is ridiculous. Why would the moon have changed? That's... that's a scary thought. And on the subject of strange orbs, those static glowing spheres have been changing color again. They're now a curious shade of orange or burnt sienna. This seems to be their most static color yet, and I wonder if this signals some state of maturity. We'll see. They seem to be somehow guarding those strange nests of giant frog spawn. No, I shouldn't say guarding, because that implies intelligence, but they're often nearby. I found a new cache of food last night, and I have nothing but time, so I shall contemplate these orbs. So maybe the pink one, maybe the, the pink one turns into the big orange one, the eggs turn into this stuff. You think I should hit it? Okay, battery, battery problem, we gotta go. My hand vac is gone. Okay, how many did I get in that little hand vac trip? Not that many, not enough. I want more, I'm greedy. Oh, the, the high beams! Probably draining the heck out of my battery. <gasps> turn it off, turn it off. I can make battery jumpers no problem, I'm hoping. Okay, not no problem. It's not completely something we can do without care for. But we should be okay. More shakes, can I also have a new hand? Oh, I might not have. Dang it, I never got the formula for hand vac because I was like, why do I need a hand vac? Dang it, now I can't get any more marsh eggs. That's dumb. Well, teaches me, I guess. All right, I we can cross the... No, let's not. Let's go this way. So how do I... Oh, I can't even cross that then. Can I just go down here? Water? Water is a big problem for cars. Yeah, okay. I think. Can we upgrade our car to be more water resistant? Great, radiation. We are in a brand new zone. Things are creepy. And there are... What is that? What the... Oh! <gasps> That's not good. What are you, what, what are you doing? Bubblegum body? Excuse, excuse me. Uh, uh, I, I, I need that. I need that. Oh my god, let's go. Wait, you're stealing my resources! You're kidding me! What the hell? Give it back! Are they stealing it from me? What the hell? I'll read those more carefully when I get back. Just weird stuff everywhere. I have full... I have a lot of energy this time. Like, a lot. Does that mean I'm gonna not collect more if I see it? No. Oh! Oh, hey, hey, hey! Hey, my man! My man! Beating heart. Even though my car wasn't that damaged. The wheel! The wheel in the back, please. Please. Please, my dude. The wheel. Why won't you do the wheel? The wheel, my dude. Why does it hate the wheel this much? I don't know. 
Can I keep coming back? That would be kind of cool. Okay, you, you stay here. I'm gonna grab the anchor. Oh, I'm so... They must have given me that hand back somewhere, and then I just held onto it this whole time. The same one, because I barely use it. Oh, I didn't- I didn't put a marker on the anchor. Can I find it properly? <gasps> to this region, it's an unstable anchor. At least it doesn't seem to be more irradiated than the previous one. Now we can get some different energy for different stuff. Good. Good. Fantastic. I think we can just keep driving the road. We'll get that one as well. Yeah. Nothing crazy here. I'll, I'll, I'll get this car while I'm here. Alright, I'm good. Thank you, beating heart. Thank you. I appreciate your eternal kindness. Who keeps putting those cans in the middle of the road? God. It's just a regular car. <laughs> we keep hearing the same three songs. We got a pneumatic thing there. The marsh eggs are probably only near the water. That's why we're not seeing them anymore on the road. Yeah, these are the like casual supplies. It's not the biggest deal. Wow, I can't believe how good we're doing today. Only because they've been nice to me, though. It's not because I did particularly well. What even- what time of day is it right now? It's 7 in the morning. Doesn't seem like it. The sun's not piercing through the, um, the lights. Whoa, those trees. Oh, there's some uh, the the bubblegum, whatever. They're messing with the anomalies. Ignore them. Just ignore them. I don't want to have my stuff stolen again. Okay, this is a brand new location, so I'm gonna be a bit more meticulous about trying to look at the houses. Just chemicals. Nothing... Special. No anomalies, just some fireflies or something. Are those all birds in the sky? That's kind of crazy. Another beating heart? You are too- oh. Right next to the tourists. <laughs> you want to heal my wheel now, finally? Low fuel. Hmm, something we gotta be uh, careful about. Okay, this I actually don't have much more of. Like, this is it. So if this is gone, then it's gone. Did some leaves just rustle next to me? Pretty sure they did. For whatever reason. That's all we have. Finally using it. Now... Did you fix the wheel? You still didn't fix the wheel, why? Why don't you like the wheel? I'm gonna go grab that. And we'll be right back. Oh, I got healed too! I got healed to 100. Nice, thanks. Ah, uh, this one- oh, it's right here.
I guess in more dangerous places, the rewards are greater, but they also give you some help. To make up for it all. Thanks! Alright, fantastic, and I'm at 100 again. Nice, nice. Alright. Now are we ready? Yeah. We could stay for longer, but I want to go back and get the hand back and stuff. We can save it for next time. But I really hope that this means from here on, if we want to go to the mid zone, it doesn't mean we have to start from the beginning again. We'll just start from this point forward. That would be nice. Can I go in here? Is the door open? <laughs> I can open it myself. Yeah. <laughs> There's chemicals in here. It's a whole dumpster. Normal dumpster. The building blocks, the building blocks of what kind of supplies, I think we haven't really seen any new building blocks. It's still the same kind of supplies that we're seeing time and time again. Except for the marsh eggs. That was a really new one. Okay. Um, I'm lazy. Now we go straight to the stabilizer, right? There's a sign that we can't read. Restricted government site or something. Tobias? Francis? What you got for me? Another beating heart over there. They are so nice. Yeah. Okay, but am I gonna have to run like hell again? Okay, a stabilizer in section D is online. Coming through loud and clear. Hey Francis, pan the car's broadcast frequency to the stabilizer, would you? Hey, come on, I can't do this without you. Fine. There, your receiver's hooked in now. And we're patched into all that sweet arc device data. <laughs> nice work. Abby won't be able to block us out anymore. Well, better get going. Here it comes. I can see you chose to not warn me about anything in advance. Fantastic. I'm not gonna activate it. Wait. That one hasn't even been activated yet, right? Is it activated? No, I think it is. Okay, that's so fast. I have to follow the road. I have to. I know the red one's coming in too, but... Yeah, so the yellow, the diagonal lines, the yellow one comes in first, followed by the red one. But we have to follow the road. Otherwise, it'll be even worse. Oh! God! Anomaly thing is dragging me! Leave me alone, please. I don't have time for that purple thing, I'm sorry, man. It always appears at the most dangerous parts. The road is just messed up here. Okay, but once we get to the- what the frick? You piece of- That stupid thing just pulled me back. Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't have time to care.
That's not even... Okay, I'm scared about that not being part of the road. My car is... It's okay. It's okay. I think we gotta go here. We definitely saw something trying to spit out acid at me, though. I don't know what that was. Okay, you know what? Even though it's red, we can still make it back in time. Our car's good enough for that now. Ooh! We had a big day today. That was only an hour? That felt like much more. Wow! Oppie was hiding a magic teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time? And don't worry, I'll restore her connection once you do us a little favor. We suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis' database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. They are not working together. I don't know about if I help them. What if Oppie gets mad at me? That wouldn't be good. All right, I've I've identified the electrical circuit for the garage's security system. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So once I do this. Bingo! That security lock's powered on now. We try that overload code from the observation towers. 4735. Oh, that's bad. Driver, something you should know about that database? When Arda's funding began to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppie was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. That data could contain what we need to help you. I don't see computers in here. Hold up. Hold up. I mean, we, we do have a bit of a spoiler. That there's something behind here, but I am... Uh... Hold up. All they did was lock up a, a washroom here? That can't be it. I see the goods. Show me the goods. Does that have to do with... There we go. Maybe just pushing all three? Oh, Arc Dock. What is it? Put it down for now. Hard drive. Oh my god, a mystical hard drive containing years of limb research and development data stolen from Arda by Oppie herself. You guys should all be on the same side then. No one likes Arda. Send it to Francis? Boy, oh boy, look at all these gizmos in here. Oppie wasn't operating no normal auto shop. A fabrication station. Ooh, her personal vault? I bet there's some good stuff in there. I I'm uncomfortable intruding like this. Uh, can, can you not? Yeah. Hold the phone. There's a machine that prints bobbleheads? There is? What? <gasps> Show me. Okay. And this is how we're going to send it over. I cannot wait to dig through all this data. We didn't even make a copy. We just sent it over. As promised, I'll fix Oppie's connection. Oh, shit. Do you read me? Come in. Do you read me? Loud and clear, you old bat. I see. The comms clear up suddenly, and I find you two patched into the garage <laughs> frequency. <laughs> it all makes sense now. No idea what you're talking about. So, Oppie, what's the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy-buddy. Not on your life. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead, then? Get the driver through all by your damn selves. Did she just hang up on us? Hello? Well, guess it's our time to shine. 
<laughs> so, uh, Francis, you got any ideas? Well, we know the driver needs to get to the deep zone, but it's too dangerous to head there directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other Sweet. time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Drive, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. Let's just enjoy our our uh, happiness, our newfound happiness first. Reach Tobias' marker. What? I've been turned into pure data. 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 Do not delete any files on any computer in the zone. I've been turned into pure data. It's okay. We barely have functioning computers here. What was this arc dock thing? Enhanced version of the arc device, able to administer rudimentary pain relief <gasps> and first aid to the occupant of the driver's seat. However, the energy this requires will put a substantial drain on the battery. You still remain unsure if this device is a work of genius, is extremely illegal stolen technology, or is some combination of both. It's an ability. Hand it over. Uh, Oppie was pissed about... Oh no. No, 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 no. Wait, did you put it in? Yeah, Oppie got pissed at Tobias and Francis, but does she remember my life is on the line? Does anyone remember this? Sometimes I, I feel like they don't. Hey, the scrapped car got an upgrade. That's awesome. Oh yeah, we get stuff. We need more and more of this stuff now, you know? Okay, we should probably... First of all, let's start with... The dumpster. What's that? Tree candy. Tree candy. It's cold but juicy, says Oppie's notes. That's a description that's both profoundly uncomfortable and yet utterly impossible to unhear. The first of all, we need hand vac. Is what we need. <laughs> Canned food? Really? You think I need canned food right about now? That's it for now. Hand vac, hand it over. We got 0 0.7 unstable energy too. That's gonna enable some new stuff. Hand vac, immediately. Thank you. Now we can start sucking up marsh eggs and whatnot. Lead apron! Oh, I can- I have enough for the next level too. Dang, but I- I have to make the first one first. Now I don't have enough. Dang it! Oh, I don't have enough fabric of all things! Lead? Ah, oh, I just needed one more! Dang, that would have been so good. Two tiers at the same time. Radiation resistance 40% would be so good. Okay, um, other things to do first before I go off and do some maintenance work on my own here. Let's transfer over the files we picked up. Yeah, those reports. Those will be good to read. Why- why won't you take that stuff? Take this, as well. We got a full trunk, my goodness. We are rolling in the... the mechanic dream. Or something. Rest of this stuff. Damn. Oh, this is a detailing station thing. We should take a look at that again soon, too. Cool. The fax machine. Mm, I want to look at my... here. Lab reports number six and theories number four. This is a government attempt to terraform the Earth. Theories. Number four. Take a good long look at that zone. All those botanists, biologists, chemists. Arda is using our backyard as a test bed for terraforming. They're reshaping our planet right under our noses. They're changing the oxygen content of the air. They're training giant electric moles to magnetize the soil. They've got robot dogs, and everyone who lives in there gets to enjoy it first. The rest of us dumbos don't even know what's coming. And one day, when they pull that lever, they'll change this whole planet. But I'm ready for them. I know how to protect myself. Mayonnaise. Sent in by CC. 
This was so... In the beginning, it was promising, but never mind. <laughs> Lab report number six. I need your help. Read through the data. Look at the numbers. I've checked every equation, every result. The batteries were consistent. The quality of the materials were pure. And yet, nothing on paper could really, truly explain the disparity in the results. The fact is, the materials in the chamber A were exposed for longer than those in chamber B. Despite the experiment running for the same exact amount of time. Please, I beg you. I'm at my wit's end. Help me find an explanation. And hurry. We've already deployed a dozen setups like this. They're already running out in the field. I fear, if we don't get ahead of this, it's gonna be bad. Are we saying that chamber A, whatever is in chamber A has some sort of time distortion effect? They don't mention what it is though. We don't know what it is. It could be anything. Oh god. Fucking just stick it in here. Yeah, we should look more at the energy stuff. What else should I be making besides hand vac? Improved antenna, investigator module. Unstable energy. Advanced workbench. I don't have enough copper. But I think I should save it though, because advanced workbench means that we can make more stuff. That's a pretty important one. Probably. So... I can probably just go out to a random supply run, go do a random supply run and get some copper wire. Save... Oh, we need three! We need three! 0 0.7! We don't even have We don't even have enough for it. Dang. Insulated headlight. Advanced workbench. See? We need the workbench to unlock new stuff. Dang you. Doors? Armored panels? We need to scan a belching barnacle anomaly. Insulated panels. Lead plated door. Olympium door. Armored door. Armored door is health 55. Impact resistant. Hey, if we don't hit things, we don't need the impact resistance. So I think it's okay. We have the insulated door. It actually has even more health than the armored door. Forget about it for now. Lead door would be really nice. But it needs lead. And that's not a resource we have much of. Gonna hold off on that then. What about the all-terrain? Advanced workbench. We need a, the advanced workbench. Save up the unstable until we get three then. Um, more side racks? It means more stuff we can get. Let's go. I don't think I really even filled out everything. I didn't even touch this side. Because at some point, all the resource collecting does get a little bit... tedious. Seat rack. I didn't do anything about the seat rack either. Roof rack. One? One whole energy? Side fuel tank. Oh, it needs to be a side rack thing. I'd rather... In that case, I feel like I'd rather put a side storage and then put a fuel can inside the side storage. Doesn't that make more sense? Turbo light engine. I don't have enough stable energy. Something to work towards then. What's the engine gonna do for me? It's gonna make me go faster? I guess? Make it consume less gas? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get the... Can I get the improved... Mm, I don't have enough plasma or circuit boards. Carbon fiberglass. Get it for now? I need the advanced workbench though. That one needs three energy. Let's get it for now. Carbon fiberglass. Expanded locker. Auto Parker. Right arm getting tired. Rudimentary weight and motion sensors below the driver's seat will automatically engage and disengage the parking brake. Truly, this is a technology of the future. Wow! Jump jacks. Make your car airborne for a moment. But be careful, it's not safe or comfortable. Resource radar. 
I don't think we even need this because we... We see resources everywhere. Do we really need that? Lightning rod? Capture energy from lightning strikes and send it straight to your battery. This is the thing that needs a rack. Plasma charger. This one I'm interested in, but it needs unstable energy. <sighs> insulated panel? Can make my whole thing insulated. I want this antenna one, but I don't have enough plasma. We need the advanced workbench. Side floodlights? Do we really need that? Okay, I'm gonna... Um, mm, athletic simulation. This one seems small, 0 0.3. What is it? I wish we... <laughs> I wish the description would be a little bit less smart and just tell me where, what this is. Oh, like a pull-up bar? Yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's so helpful. I knew it. It was gonna be something dumb. <laughs> but hey, at least we'll- there better be an achievement for getting it in the hoop. I'm just saying. Hey! Hey! Okay. Too low. Oh, too high. Okay, what if I do this? <laughs> you have an achievement for this, right? I've never confirmed it with anything. I just assume you will. Wow, okay. No achievement. Fine, be that way then. Screw this. 